KTN News. To the health sector now, where health workers have announced they will hold countrywide demonstrations every Tuesday, beginning 16th of April, saying this is the only way to press the government to listen to them and fulfill their demands and promises. This comes after back and forth between health workers and the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome, who has outlawed their strike. The medics whose strike hit the one-month mark had also given the police boss a limited time to retract his statement and withdraw his threats. Healthcare workers have insisted that they will continue with their strikes and even have demonstrations every Tuesday from April 16th, despite threats from the Ministry of Interior and the Office of the Inspector General of Police, Jafet Kome. We are not willing to relent. If anyone is thinking that by using the government machinery to continue intimidating healthcare workers and sending condescending statement to, to, the, uh, to, to, to the media or releasing press, trying to instill fear to the public that we will change, we are not going to change. Secretary General of the KMPDU Doctors Union, Dav Giatella, has strongly criticized the initiative of bringing foreign doctors to work in the Kenyatta University Referral Hospital. Atella, saying that out of all those brought for interviews, only one qualified, indicating that those doctors may not have the requisite qualifications. It means that this craft, these specialties that doctors are offering in the different hospitals, the craft that they've mastered over time, they cannot be replaced by picking uh, doctors or picking people on the street or picking quacks everywhere. So it means that when the government is trying to threaten us, they're actually risking the lives of patients. The doctors' union also asked the government to come up with a committee that will delve in detail issues affecting the health sector in the country. I think it's high time that they have a clear task force to look into this workforce issue that our, our, our workers that has, has failed to be handled for over the years. I think if we have such a task force, it will really come, it will make many of the people in government understand the issues that are healing healthcare. The chairman of the Clinical Officers Union, Peterson Washira, said that the workers' union are ready to sit and discuss with the government to try to resolve their issues. We are ready and willing to come to the table even now, but the government is just lying to Kenyans. I don't know the reason as to why they want us to continue being on strike, because actually they are the ones who are pushing this strike, they are the ones who are protracting this strike, but we want to assure them we, will, we are there for the long haul. Rebecca Mururi Mulore, KTN News. After the break,